In this section, we will review the results generated for solving our simulation. In the results task, we can see that one result has automatically been generated, and this is a velocity plot of vectors. And before we evaluate it, we'll change the appearance of these vectors. So we'll have one-dimensional arrows with sizing 2, and we want about 5,000 as the maximum number of symbols and then we can evaluate. And now we can see that we have a vector field that shows the velocity of the air inside of our electronics box. And we can use this button up here to animate the results so that we can clearly see what's going on. We can also go back to the results task and add a contour. For the location, we'll hide the flow volume and select the faces of the chips and the CPU. And for the variable, we'll choose temperature. And now we can evaluate. We can see that there's not much variation between the minimum and the maximum temperature. But we can also use the play button to animate the results of the temperature as well.